Am I sexy now? Do you like my brunette hair? Sexy brunette bombshell. <laughs> I'm joking. I thought oh, I did catch your attention with the title, didn't I? So, I did drastic change. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm liking it. My hair looks so much healthier. It feels healthier. And I am starting my no dying hair. I don't know how long I want to keep this up with no, with no dyeing my hair. I guess until maybe if it looks like super super bad then I'll dye my hair but I am in super hair restore mode. I bought some things so this is also a little mini haul in this tutorial update video slash review. So this is a big video isn't it? I picked up I saw this. It's the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil. And I already have a shampoo, so I got a conditioner. And it's sulfate free. And it's organics, beauty, pure and simple. So I thought I'd try this out because Moroccan oil is really good. And I heard argan oil is really good. So, I mean, a Moroccan argan oil conditioner has to be good, right? And then I've heard many things about this. So I just got the $4 one to try it out. It's a little hair mask. And then I got Neutrogena Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask. And this smells good. I used it last night. It smells really good. I really enjoy this. And so I've already used this and so far I like it. But then again I also used the conditioner. It came with the John Frieda stuff. And normally those conditioners are super amazing and your hair feels super soft. And then I added this and my hair was even softer. It was like silk. So, that was that. That's my little mini haul with this video. Now on to uh, my mini review. So, I used the, John, the new John Frieda foam color. And I liked it for box color. I mean you won't really ever see me use box color again so this is a one-time thing so I figured I might as well do a tutorial and review for you guys since I will never ever ever use it again and not because I don't like it just because box color is bad for your hair and it's such a hypocritical thing for me to do to use box color because I'm a hairstylist so it was good I mean there's still blonde streaks and stuff in my hair. There's, It's not completely all 100% the same color. So, there's that. But then again, I did break a rule and I did go five levels darker than, my, than the hair color I had. So, that might have played into it. But what I really liked was the foam. It was easy to prepare and it was very easy to apply. Like, there was no mess. There was no... It was very easy. I really like the foam. And you can, it's, it's fun, kind of. You can see the colors start changing on your hair and stuff, as you guys will see. I was afraid I wasn't going to have enough. But then, my, again, my hair is really thin, so. And I still had some left over, and I was really saturating my hair. So, I did have enough. It was easy. And I think it came out pretty good. So... I will let you guys watch the tutorial now on how I did how to use John Frieda's new foam, which is very easy, just in case you guys wanted to see. Alright, so don't forget to subscribe and comment and leave some requests, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Alright, bye. Hey guys, so... I'm having some problems with my hair, so I want to, that's why my roots have been growing out like crazy, and I want to try and get as close to my root color as possible. Look at those bad boys. Look at those roots. Longest, I've actually seen, this is the first time I've seen my hair color, my natural hair color in, I don't know how long, I'm using box color. Yes. Go ahead. Yell at me.
I'm mad at myself, but I've got John Frieda, which I like his shampoo, and this is that new Precision Foam color, so I thought I would try it out. So, and then I guess I get a let to yeah. And I guess I get to review it for you guys. So I got the 5N, which is the medium level. Level 5 is medium level. I'm a level 10 right now, which kind of breaking the rules and going more than layer, layers, levels than I should. Because really, whenever you change your hair color, you should only change it three levels at most. And I'm going 5 or 4 right now. So, I mean, look. It doesn't even have blonde on here. But this is what it looks like. Okay, I got a bit of color all over me, and I just let this sit for 30 minutes, and then I'll rinse it out, and then I'll show you guys when it's completely done. I liked it, actually. I was afraid, because of the foam, that I wouldn't have enough. I was like, oh, shit, and I was afraid it wouldn't actually cover everything, and I'd have, like, blonde spots everywhere, but, I mean... I've been saturating my hair a lot and there's still some left. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes or so since I put this on. And as you see, my hair is very dark. And hopefully there's hopefully there are no blonde spots. But yeah, it felt so weird while it was on. Because I would hear the foam and it could I thought it was leaking down, but it wasn't just the way I guess the foam sounded and it felt on my head. So I'm going to go wash this out right now. Okay. And this is the final look. 
I know. I look completely different. It doesn't faze me because I've had every single hair cover, cover, color, numerous times. So now whenever I dye it, completely different. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I remember those days. So I know you guys already seen the finished results in the beginning part of this video. So I don't even know why I showed you again. But yeah, it's got this nice goldish blondish hue to it. And you guys seen this color in a better lighting and I'm all sweaty and I have no makeup on. So I don't even know why I bothered showing you guys this. And right now I have Katy Perry song stuck in my head. That's Friday night.